Hello everybody, I'm at Lake Compounds today, ready to see some Sugar Ray in concert because they're doing concerts out on the water now. This is my first time being here this season. I couldn't be here on opening day and then we were gonna do another day and it got rained out so I couldn't make it then either. So now, a full month later, I'm here finally using my membership. I'm with Adam and Paul and I'm going over to Boulder Dash right now with them because they have retracked part of it and I'm so excited to go give it a, a test try. Also, I'm excited to see the Sugar Ray because I am 38 years old and I did listen to them when I was a teenager, so this will be fun. Yeah, all right, we're walking over to Boulder Dash right now. There's, there's Paul and Adam. As I said, they retract part of it, like the first drop, right? Is that what they did? You're not even in the shot, there you go. There he is, first drop. So we're gonna stand in this long line for 20 minutes to give it a go. Yeah, that is quite a line. It's very cold right now, guys. It's like June and it's freezing. I don't know why. It's like nice weather for Adam. <laughs> it's comfortable. Well, last, last few days were like 90, it was too hot. Yeah, I, that's what I liked, it was 90. Now I'm like bundled up and I feel like it's weird. It's like June 3rd, 2nd? What's the third? It's the third. Where's the heat? So coming off that, I will say that first drop is so nice that they've retracted it. They've, it smells like a train, like an actual train. It smells like the toy trains my dad has at Christmas time. It is so smooth. And then and then it continues on and it gets crazy and rocky like it's always been. I know that they can't retract the whole thing because the thing is huge and it goes throughout the woods, but it has made that drop phenomenally better. Okay, it's unfortunate that they're not doing photos right now because we all actually posed for once. That never happens. Over here, Wildcat is not running today. And from what Paul is telling me, they're not gonna run it all season because they're gonna fix up this track, which it definitely needs. <laughs> Looks like they have some food trucks here. They have Landon's Kitchen and Dell's, but Paul has told me that it's not the classic Dell's from Rhode Island, yeah, so. Yeah, it's a scam, no, I'm <laughs> Okay, so behind me is the new floating half shell that Lake Compounds has added for live concerts where they're bringing in um, well-established bands. And today is gonna be Sugar Ray, which I mentioned a little bit earlier. That was a band that was popular when I was in middle school. So I'm kind of excited to see them because I know all that music and it brings me back to when I used to go to Cape Cod every summer and stay there, so. It's really cool. It's just floating over there, but you know, part of me also thinks about the Simpsons movie and what happened to Green Day, so let's hope it works out better for Sugar Ray. Okay, we are reliving the nostalgia of our childhood right now. We're gonna do some bumper cars. Yeah, he's gonna hit me immediately because he's directly behind me. And as long as nobody has a blue shell, I think I'll be okay. There you go. Bumper Cars was awesome. This guy drives for a living, so he was just swerving in and out of like the people who were getting stuck. And I turn around and he's just going backwards. Like he's driving, I didn't even know you could do that. We stopped by the sweet shop because Adam wants a cannoli, which I didn't believe that they had cannolis, but they actually do. But something that's more disturbing to me is, this is food that's also like pets. So like this is like sushi that's also a cat. And what's really bothering me, who turned my dog into a s'more? Also a corgi burger? Come on, I'm, this is like disturbing to me. Let me see those cannolis, Adam. Mmm. <laughs> Let's see, can he eat it in one bite? No. That's how Adam is. Let, let me see that fudge. Let's see. It looks pretty good. Yeah, it does look pretty good. I wanted a cookie, but they only had peanut butter cookies and I can't have peanut butter, so. Why aren't there chocolate chip cookies, the most common cookie in the world? I don't know, you tell me, like compounds. Is it vanilla? Brownie. <laughs> oh, has it got brownie in there too? No, oh, it's just like he's eating okay. like a brownie. Just that, like well, I mean, true. <laughs> well, at least you're eating yours slower than you did that donut in Universal. <laughs> so Ethan here was just uh, waving at the camera and I didn't know if he was talking to a kid in front of me, but he actually watches the vlogs in the Six Flags. So I wanted to do a shout out and say thank you for watching it. Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? Hey, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Eat Vibe Department. What, do you, what is it about? Um, you know, I, I, I just filmed like a whole bunch of like cartoon videos. And, That's with cool. With Looney Tunes. What? Yeah. I love Looney Tunes. Yeah, go check them out. That's awesome. Yeah. 
Nice to meet you, dude. Yeah, yeah, no problem. <laughs> On our way to Zoomerain, and there's a big wall where the dinosaurs used to be. I wonder what they're gonna put in its place because, like, that's crazy. At least they painted it blue, so it like kind of blends in with the theming. <coughs> Off to Zoomerain, probably the smoothest version of this reverse coaster that I've ridden in other parks. Definitely more smooth than Six Flags. This line is really long. I don't know if we can do it, guys. <laughs> Whoop! We're gonna zoom, zoom on the Zoomerain. Zoom, zoomy, zoom, zoom. I love that it's got this, oh, ah! Thanks, Adam. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I love that the Zoomerain has sort of this like early 90s color scheme to it. I kind of dig it. The Zoomerain is so much smoother than Flashback at Six Flags. Like, there's no rocking in my head here. Like, I'm not getting a slight concussion on this ride. It's smooth as butter, and I like the inside because it looks like it's still the 90s. Also, the Pirate is back in action. I'm excited about that because it's been closed down for the past few years. We were walking over to Ghost Hunt, hoping there wouldn't be a line, and we noticed that Thunder and Lightning is a walk-on. So we're definitely going to hit this before we go see the show. I have a strong appreciation for Thunder and Lightning. It's kind of like a good step if you're afraid to go on Harley Quinn at Six Flags to start here. But that was like super intense the first time I went on it because like Harley Quinn didn't exist. Phobia is unfortunately closed today, so we can't go ride our second favorite coaster here. Pizza Place, not open either today. Womp womp. So we can hear that the concert has started and we're headed down to it. I'm trying to watch the show and I turn around, I'm like, where's Adam? He's in the line to get a beer. <laughs> so Adam. You ready, try, you ready to go climb the Swiss Family Robson Treehouse again? <laughs> oh, now that you got a beer in you? <laughs> like jamming out and then the smell of pizza wafted it up into our nostrils and now we're getting pizza and it's very small and I'll, I was always thinking I should get some real pizza but now we're getting this so this is happening keeping that summer vibe alive it's the 90s again so Lake Compounds has these garlic knots now that are really good like really good what do you think <laughs> I, I like them they're, they're good. crispy nice crispy and soft inside yeah. Delicious. Delicious. Oh, yeah. Also delicious sugar ray. It's a little too cold for it, but like, I am digging this idea of going swimming. <laughs> I just want to go to Florida, guys. I know it's like, a, it's a crazy show down there, but Universal and Disney's water parks are A plus, and SeaWorld too. When it's over, I was like, where is it? Is it really over? Got some pizza here, a little personal pizza. Let's give it a try. It's gooey. Oh, another one too. Oh my god. I just wanna fly. Alright, I am back in my car and it was super cool to see Sugar Ray at the new half shell at Lake Compounds. Next week is Everclear, so apparently we're hitting all of Ryan's teenage and nostalgia beach day at Cape Cod hits in this month. It's too bad that Phobia and Wildcat are closed, but I'm super excited for next year when Wildcat opens because it's gonna be completely retracted and it like really needs it. So I won't be shaking around on there. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. You can check me out on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch where I stream multiple days a week. And if you wanna support me for what I do here and give me a tip or you wanna join as a subscriber to my Patreon, you can do that. I post extra vlogs and podcasts over there. All right, remember everybody, every day is an adventure and live your best life.